what is religion? We sit down sometimes and look at the aspect of different cultures, races, and religions and get confused, get frustrated, and a lot of us just throw our hands up in the air with it because it's confusing, it seems like it's trouble, it seems like there's a separation, everybody has this one belief and this one third, the theory. So, I want to break down the fact that in the beginning of time, was there ever a religion? The answer is no. You can sit down and study that Bible from front to back and you will never, ever, ever hear anybody from even Enoch, Abraham, Noah, all of the prophets, Ezekiel, Ishmael, Isaiah, Jacob, Isaac, Yeshua, none of them ever, ever, ever say to believe in this and we shall call it Pentecostal. We shall call it Baptist. We shall call it this. We shall call it that. They never ever did in the past. Stuff was labeled as time went on to because of the fact that if you had somebody that was from Egypt and they believed in the new covenant and the Messiah came, they would call them Crostic Crostic Christians because Christian was stand for Christ, which technically, if you even go even further, the etymology of that was Messiah. Christian came up because of what the Romans would call it. That was their interpretation for their vocabulary. Then you started having people group up. We see this today with how one actual history book and religion has got changed into 10 different things. You have 87, 87 different sections of Christianity, of Judaism, of, of Buddhism, of Dagon Baptist, and the whole nine yards. So my whole thing is that is there rules and regulations and what is this that I talk about? Is it a religion? Does it fall into a section? And we see that we can confuse because even people in Judaism say you got to have the mystical speaking of Hebrew and all this other stuff. The answer is this. This is a way of life. This is not religion. This is a moral, ethical, and spiritual way of life that you should live by technically without even nobody saying it to you. This is a moral way of treating everybody equal without nobody having to tell you. This is a way of knowing when it comes to the dietary part of what to eat so you don't get high blood pressure and you don't get sick. So whatever is used to clean the earth with, you don't eat that. Let them clean the earth. That's what God put them on the earth for. So he named different things that you just don't eat. With the new covenant, it does not make a difference. What you eat is what comes out of your mouth and what's inside of you spiritually. It said that. Don't worry about that. It spoke about that to the Gentiles in the book of Romans. So this is a way of life of living and being righteous. While being righteous, you believe, you have faith for every little bad thing that comes against you because that is an enemy and a spiritual nature and, is, and, and Satan is not working against you to get you out of that goodness. So this is a way of life. This is a way of life of being righteous, of being honest, of being true. And the enemy is going to come against you. But that is just a test of your endurance and of your faith and believing. Was this book about a way of life and truthfulness given to a race of people in a history book of every nation and race around them and the characteristics of what everybody carried? Yes, it is. Was there a new covenant that brought everybody in so everybody had a chance to, to do this together in the whole nine yards? Yes, it was, but there was a trick to, to, to every side. So do you have to go and be a part of a religion and a race um, or culture or a certain section of life in order to get to heaven? 
Do you believe? First ask yourself that. Do you walk by the laws of God? And do you treat everybody equal and love the Lord thy God, the one true God and the Messiah that came and died on the cross for our sins with all your heart and soul? Are you grateful that you can bring in and treat everybody equally like I spoke of before? So if you do all those things, what category and what religion and what subject matter of religion do you fall in? I would say righteousness. Somebody asks you, hey, what denomination are you? Hey, all I know is the laws of God and that you should die on the cross for our sin. So if he spoke of righteousness and equality, I guess I stand for righteousness. Leave it at that. Are you supposed to know the Hebrew words and letters and the language and all this other stuff? No, you're not. Do you hear me sitting over here giving you a whole lesson about Hebrew and everything else? For some things in life, the mysteries are meant for us to know until a given time. The scriptures and the scrolls stay that. So if those are one of the things that you weren't brought into fulfillment, then you learn on your own accord if you want to. But learning in English and knowing and praying in whatever language that you speak is just as good as knowing this. Or it would say it in the scripture. And I try to stay away from this because a lot of this has been watered down so much that you get Jamaic and Yiddish mixed in with it. And that's too much, which is why we don't get too much into the genealogy. One day I'll break down the Hoplo group so you can go back to some of my other videos and look. But I try not to because those are tricks and trade for people to say, oh my gosh, oh, I didn't know I was a part of this. Or or feel some kind of way and the enemy likes that. Once you start feeling some kind of way or looking at something to the left, that's the first thing he does is he grabs you, he twists it, and he shoots you a curveball. And now you just sway. So I try to keep everybody on the straight path of swaying because I feel and I know for a fact I'm responsible for everything that comes out of my mouth. So I have to bear characteristics and not just on here, but outside of here. And the enemy will slander your name and come against you to make you look negative. But we have to understand something. A lot of us that are coming into the fulfillment are ones that have been through the atrocities in the past. So we come into the fulfillment of this word and we get confused of what religion or what you know denomination we should be a part of because we want to get in we want to leave our sins and our transgressions remember yeshua said i did not come for those who already believe in doing this because i came from the sinners to wake them up then that's when you know the other apostles went on went on and spoke of everybody else being brought in together but with that being said there was never a religion that was brought up. So it's more of a walk of life, of righteousness. So if somebody asks you and you believe in what I'm saying, because you know I'm speaking the truth, and I will give you the truth as the truth is given unto me and was written in this book, then guess what? It's righteousness. Just be as of righteousness, believe, have faith, and have faith by works so that I can get saved. Because the works is how you get your double portion and your reward. We see right here in Isaiah where it speaks of those that will fall in the category of those atrocities. Where it says, though, and it says in Isaiah 5.20, those who call evil good and good evil who present darkness as light and light as darkness who present the bitter as sweet and the sweet as bitter look at the characteristics of those that say that they're part of a religion or a section or give their self a name that today we see a lot of names are matching up to a nationality when it's actually supposed to be a religion now we look at the characteristics we see movies that are coming up about lucifer satan and all the bad things what happened to the days of America carrying the ethnical, holy, scriptural, Christian values? What happened to that? Remember when the pilgrims came, all the Christian values in Salem, and they were hanging people they thought were doing witchcraft and all this stuff in England, and the same thing. They were all into the Lord and God. What happened to it? It's out of the system. The characteristics of his true nature actually show and everybody swayed. 
we have more profanity, profanity more immorality we have more movies and tv shows about mysticism and false gods and also satan with demonic symbols and signs and phrases that actually coincide try to coincide with your self-conscience to sway you from the one true god we see this happening every single day and as time picks on and generations go it gets worse and worse and worse so don't fall into a characteristics of rules and manipulations of what a religion should be and what section you should be in the first things first is that there is none but righteousness and that is the word of god those are the laws that you speak these are the characteristics that you carry of the holy spirit of the word of god and the gospel it gives it to you from left to right then it gives you the history and the story of every single time this nation or this person failed to do something wrong that they fell back in the track of transgression, they either died, they were cursed, or they were brought down to the hellfire. So we stay away from all evil things that are not righteous. Anything of this world obtained that is not obtained in a good and a righteous way does not need to be obtained. Anything that is spoken or done that does not come of righteousness and about righteousness, then we do not need to be involved with that. Because what you in, what you intake, even if it's a grain of salt, you might as well go ahead and eat the whole meal. Because even that grain of salt leads to something greater. So why not be of a good positive nature and roots so that way you can bear fruit, this thou not landing in thickles and thorns and getting your seed choked and your promise snatched up away from you. So remember, we have a lot of characteristics, all right, that come with different names and of religions. When technically there's no, there's only one rule and one regulation, and that's the word of God, how to be and how to act. And they never called it anything, and I've never called it anything. I never came up and said, hey, this is the Hebrew Israelite, you know, way, and you have to follow any of this. No, this is a way of life. This is God's rule. All right, of righteousness. It's not no religion. There's not no rules except for what you don't need to do or what you need to do, which is technically, morally, and ethically by being spiritually on the inside by these rules and being technically morally and um, on the outside in the worldly in your worldly aspects and walks of life. So there goes your answer for those who want to know what is religion.